Okay, so before getting started, I just wanted to let you know that all of Dr. Winston's videos will be coming from his books, with the majority of his content coming from the book that Microsoft asked him to write. His 2019 Data Analysis and Business Modeling book. This is Microsoft's best-selling Excel book in the world, and you can see here, based on the reviews, that it's an extremely popular book. Dr. Winston's Marketing Analytics book covers all things marketing analytics and has been one of the best-selling books on the topics, as you can see here also by the 105 reviews. Finally, his Analytics Stories book covers real-world problems and he solves them using Excel. It is his newest book, but has perfect reviews thus far. So why am I telling you all of this? First of all, if you just watch all of the content, you will be getting a world-class education. Dr. Winston created the Excel course for Harvard, and virtually every business school in the world uses his books. If you go into the description below, there will be links to download the before and the after Excel files. No email is required, they're direct download links, and downloading the file will help you follow along. Also, if you like the content, then like, comment, and subscribe. This will help you be notified in the future, and it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. It'll help students like you to see new content. Finally, please ask questions. Just leave a comment with your questions and we'll try to help answer. We really want you to learn and understand the content of these videos. With all that being said, let's get started. Okay, let's introduce you to exponential smoothing and the key equations in the winner's method for exponential smoothing. So I'll start where we ended up the uh, last video in House 2 Final. Love that show, House. That was a great show. House 2 Final 1.SLXX. Okay, so like how do we make judgments about a future quantity? Like how good is a football team? So let's suppose you rooted for Alabama who won the national championship in 2015. Well, going into their game against Mississippi, you probably thought they were really good because they were defeated. Well, then they lost to Mississippi, and you would lower their view, your view of how good they were because they had a bad game. But you wouldn't entirely discount the fact that Alabama is a good team or you'd get silly because they won the national championship, right? So basically, the way we estimate future quantities is a weighted average of what we think going into an event plus what we, uh, plus what we see in the event. And that's the point of exponential smoothing. What weight do you give the present and what weight do you give the past in trying to forecast the future? Okay, so we need some notation here. So X of T is the month, we'll do housing starts. Month T housing starts. LT is the base, our estimate of the base level, estimate of level at the end of month T. TT is the estimate of trend at the end of month T. And ST is at the end of month T estimate of seasonal index for month T. Okay, and the question is how can we update these? And then we want one more thing here, a forecast. F of T K, comma K, is at the end of month T or period T could be quarters, our forecast K periods ahead. So like if it's October of 2015 and we want January of 2016, K would be three because you're going three months ahead. Okay, so the principle of the winner's method for exponential smoothing is we have an equation for L, T, and S and then a forecast equation. And in each case, our updated estimate of base trend and seasonality is a weighted average of what we believe from the current data point plus what we believe going in. Okay, so what is the base at the end of month T? Okay, it's going to be a quantity alpha, and this is what we have to figure out. That's what weight we give the present when updating the base. We take alpha times what ha we saw this month. And then we have to de-seasonal like we did in the last video. We de-seasonalize, so we go back 12 months. 
So for example, if we saw 100 and the seasonal index was two, we would knock it down to a 50 because that's the estimate of our level. If we saw 100 and the seasonal index was 0.5, we'd raise it to 200 because that's the estimate of the level from the current observation. And then we would take one minus alpha times what we thought our estimate of the level would be from the pro before we came into this month, and that would be last month's base, but we'd raise it by last month's trend. If last month's trend was 1.02, we'd have to knock up the base by 2%. Now, what about our updated trend? Well, we'll take a beta, some weight given from the current observations estimate of the trend, which would be what? It would be the base at the end of this month divided by the base at the end of this, uh, the previous month. And then one minus beta times what the trend was the last month. If that's what we thought it was coming in. Now, how would you update the seasonal index? And these things are easy to do with spreadsheets. And again, beta, alpha, and the constant gamma here are called the smoothing constants. And we use solver to calibrate those so they give the best forecast. So we take gamma times what happened. Now, what's the estimate of the seasonality from the current month? We take what happened divided by the base estimate at the end of this month. So for example, at the end of this month, we think the base is uh, 200 and we saw 400. Our estimate of the seasonality for the current month would be 2, 400 divided by 200. And then we take 1 minus gamma times our previous estimate of the seasonality for that month, which would be what it was 12 months ago or in quarters 4 months ago. Okay. So you'll see in the next video that it's, or two videos from now, it's really simple to update these base trend and seasonal indices with spreadsheets using the copy command. As a matter of fact, this is the first use of the uh, spreadsheets I ever made in class teaching at Indiana, I used Lotus 1, 2, 3 to do winner's method because it was so horrible to, to do by hand. Now, how do you forecast? So let's use some logic. At the end of month T, how would you forecast K months ahead? Well, you'd forecast where the level is going to be and then multiply by the seasonal index. So you would take the base at the end of month T and you want the trend that you know at the end of month T going ahead raised to the K power. So if the trend was 1.02 and you're going five months ahead, you take your current base times 1.02 to the fifth, et cetera. If you're going two months ahead, you take your current base times 1.02 squared. Now, that will give you an estimate of where the base or level will be in K months, but then you have to multiply by the seasonal index. So you're forecasting for month T plus K, but you don't have a seasonal index. You have to go back 12 months. For example, if the T plus K is a, is a December, then that S of T plus K minus 12 would be the seasonal index from the last December. Now, putting this all together, these four formulas, once we initialize the base trend in seasonality, which is the subject of the next video, then we are ready to rock and roll with this. And then use the, once we use the solver to come up with alpha, beta, and gamma that makes the best forecast, we're ready to use this to forecast going forward. So thanks for watching. We really hope you're enjoying our Excel videos. And over the next several years, we'll be releasing our complete library of Excel training onto our YouTube channel. But if you don't want to wait for years, then I wanted to talk to you a bit about the master course Dr. Winston has created. It's his life's work, and I wanted to talk to you about the benefits that you can receive from enrolling. The first thing is lifetime access. And lifetime access doesn't just mean you'll have a login forever. It means that you'll get to have access to all of the new content that Dr. Winston creates. So even though the course currently has more than 800 videos, Dr. Winston creates new content all the time. As Excel or as Microsoft, you know, creates new functions and new functionality in Excel, Dr. Winston will create content that you will have access to. And you will also have access to all the new spreadsheets and all of the new videos that Dr. Winston creates. And what this will do is this will help you stay up to date with Excel. Next is there's a 60 day money back guarantee, right? This guarantee is a no questions asked guarantee. So if at any time within the first 60 days, you're not completely satisfied, I will personally refund your money. You can email me Ryan at Excel with Wayne.com. Also, there's a 50 question exam that you can take upon completion of the course. This will test how well you're retaining the knowledge of the videos. 
And if you pass that test with 70% or greater, then you'll get a certificate of completion. And the certificate looks like this. And if you look in the bottom left, once you receive a certificate, you can have a job recruiter or an HR manager. They can email us. They can email Dr. Winston, Wayne at ExcelWithWayne.com, and he will verify that you did, in fact, complete our course. The challenge with Excel courses is that there's no support, right? Normally, you purchase the course, and then you're on your own. But what if you have any questions? What if you don't understand things? And the benefit of our private Facebook group is that you don't just have to ask questions about our course. You can ask questions about your day-to-day -day Excel questions. Our group is called the Excel Mastermind, and you can see here there's more than 1,700 members that are more than happy to answer your questions. And this group is also only for students of Dr. Winston's. So you're going to have very, very, um, you know, intelligent students, people that have invested in themselves, helping you answer your questions, as well as us. We also monitor the group. So as mentioned before, there's more than 800 videos in the course. There are currently, I believe, 811 videos. But going forward, we're always creating new content. And along with those videos, there's more than 1,500 downloadable Excel files. And the benefit of the, of the downloadable files is that you get the before and the after file. And the benefit of having the after file is that you can uh, follow along, right? And so all the formulas that Dr. Winston creates, you'll have in, you, you'll be able to download them. Currently, there's more than 75 hours of content. But again, going forward, Dr. Winston creates new, you know, new videos all the time. And so that number is going to keep on increasing. So real quick, let's just talk about some of the issues with online training and specifically online Excel training. The first one, as mentioned before, is there's no support, right? Like what happens if you have a question? What happens if you don't understand something about the course? Or, you know, what happens if you don't understand something in your day-to-day -day task? Because no matter what Excel course you purchase, they're not going to solve your exact problem, right? Because you're setting up your spreadsheet you're in your own way and things like that. So again, we solve that problem with our, our private Facebook group. So you can see it here again, the Excel Mastermind group. You can go to it. You won't be able to access it until you become a student, but you can go and you can sort of see, I mean, this is a real group on Facebook. The next issue, which is a pretty big issue with Excel, is that once you purchase most courses, actually all courses that I know of, they're not up to date. And what do I mean by not up to date? So Microsoft in the past two years, in really in the past six months, but let's use the past two years, they've really, really updated Excel and they've added a ton of new functions and a ton of new functionality. And so if the courses are not adding new content as Excel or as Microsoft is releasing content, then you're really going to be left behind. So as you can see here, these are just a few of the functions that Microsoft has recently released. The MinFS, the MaxFS, XLOOKUP, which is probably the number one new function in Excel because it replaces the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP and the index match. Um, the unique function, the filter function, sort, stock history, and then stock data types, geography data types, switch, ifs, etc. There's new charting functionality. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And so again, if you're purchasing a course that is not staying up to date, then, then you're really going to be left behind. And what I mean by left behind is that you're not going to be as efficient in your spreadsheet tasks that you could be. Finally, it's the quality of the professor. And so this is where I want to talk a little bit about Dr. Winston. So the first thing you could do is just go over to Google and type in Wayne Winston. And you can see over here on the right side his Wikipedia page. You can see he went to MIT. You can see some of the books he made. You can go to Amazon or you can go to, you know, Kelly, which is the Indian, which is the, the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University. You can go to his LinkedIn page. I mean, there, there's a lot of places you can go to just to see about Dr. Winston. Who is he? Um, another thing you could do is you could search for his books, you know, just go to Wayne Winston books and look at images, but you can, again, you can see Microsoft's book, 2019, 2016, 2010. I believe it goes back all the way to 2003, but I'm not a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure, but not a hundred percent on that. So the main book that Dr. Winston, uh, has written is his 2019 book. Um, when I say the main book, it's the most popular book. I mean, all of his books are, are very popular, but this is his most popular one, as you can see here, based on the reviews. And this is the book that Microsoft has asked Dr. Winston to write. And this is Microsoft's best-selling Excel book on the topic. Um, his second popular book is called Marketing Analytics. And you can see, again, there's very good reviews on this. Um, you can go to Amazon and you can see the reviews. 
And I would say go to Amazon and look at the bad reviews because the bad reviews are talking about the shipping. Like the book was, was messed up in shipping or um, it doesn't include the downloadable files, but it actually does. Um, they just didn't know how to find it. But this book covers all things marketing analytics. And his other book here is Analytic Stories. And this is a very interesting book because what Dr. Winston does with this is he solves real world problems using Excel and using analytics to show, you know, some, some interesting things that have happened historically and proving them, you know, with, with Excel and with statistics in Excel. So instead of talking about the books that Dr. Winston has written, maybe the best thing to do since Excel is a business tool, the number one business tool in the world, what about business schools? You know, very popular business schools, like so who, who trusts him? Like what are the top business schools in the world? So let's, let's go to the first one, you know, which would be Harvard here. And what you can see is they asked him to create their course. Um, you can see on the one, two, three, the fourth link, you can see that in 2013, that is the spreadsheet course. I do believe there is a 2016 course, but I'm not a hundred percent. Um, and so, yeah, they're, they're using his books, you know, mathematics for management. Um, they're using his data analysis books in his courses and things like that. So, Harvard's using them, but let's let's just look at some other schools, right? So the next one would be MIT, and you can see the syllabus of MIT is using his operations research book. You can see um, MIT Open Courseware is using his stuff, um, and the list goes on and on. But let's keep going. Let, let's not stop there, right? So Stanford, Stanford is using his stuff, and I'm going to go a little bit faster just because there are a lot of universities here. So Stanford. Right, you can see the, uh, Wharton, which is a really popular finance school. If you're not familiar with it, has used this stuff at least you know a couple years ago they did. And then you have Columbia in New York is using his books. NYU also in New York is using his material. You could go to Yale. And here's an interesting one because this is IIT, which is in India, and it's the number one school in India. It's apparently the hardest university in the world to get into because like everybody applies to it and has a very, very low um, acceptance rate. But again, you can see they're using his book. And also here, this is the, the Indian Institute of Management, which is the number one business school in India. And you can see, again, they're all using his content. And this is a school in China. It's SIEBS. And this is uh, the number one business school in Asia, I believe. Um, and they're also using his content. And then finally in Europe, uh, INSEAD, which I am not 100%, I think it's in Switzerland, um, I could be wrong, but again, they are all using his book. So essentially the number one business school in every country is using his book. In America, the number, the top 10 or top five are using his books. Um, and so Excel is a business software, business schools are using his content. And so they all trust him, right? And, and the biggest sign of trust is that they're using his materials to teach their professors how to, you know, teach the subject of Excel, right? And also advanced, you know, analytics. Um, also sort of on the, on, you know, just like a, a fun note about Dr. Winston is that uh, he was also a two-time Jeopardy champion. Um, and you can Google that. You can go to YouTube and you can watch him answer the questions. It, it's actually pretty funny. And so in his courses, he does, you know, add a lot of trivia. And that um, sort of makes it a little bit fun because we all know it's Excel, right? Like how fun can Excel really be? So yeah, so that's, you know, some of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, if you have any questions, um, just let us know. But if you did want to go and you wanted to invest in yourself, then you could go to excelwithlane.com slash course. And also when you get to the site, if you just scroll down a bit, then you can see the syllabus here. And if you click on any of those syllabi, you will then be able to see the exact materials in, um, you know, in that course. Because, because I'll go back one here. But the you're not just getting one course; you're getting four courses. The complete, the top left one here, the complete Microsoft Excel course, that is from his book that he's been writing for Microsoft. And the marketing analytics book is from his marketing analytics book, or sorry, his marketing analytics course is from his marketing analytics book. And then his analytics stories course is from his analytics stories book and then um, the Monte Carlo simulation with uh, Palisades that is a very advanced course and you would need the at risk you, you get the course but you would need at risk the the add-in to uh, to be able to, to follow along to that I mean you could still of course watch the videos it's just to follow along you need to purchase the add-in it doesn't it is not included in the course but again if you click on any of the the syllabi there you would see something like this and then if you click you know the the plus sign on any of the chapters you would see every video that is included inside of that 
So let's talk about the, the price of the course, right? So with Dr. Winston, well, let, let's step back. So let's talk about the price of an MBA. So this is where Dr. Winston teaches. And if you were to purchase this course, it's the equivalent of probably four MBA courses. And I can tell you this because I'm an MBA alumni of Dr. Winston's. Um, and this is where he taught, he's retired, but you can see the prices here. And the, the price of the course is 397. $397 for lifetime access. And what you will get with that is again, everything we just talked about. And so you can compare the prices because it's essentially, you're getting four college courses, which is 12 hours of a col of college credit and an MBA is about 48 hours. So you're essentially getting one fourth of an MBA from watching um, the, you know, the content of Dr. Winston. And so finally, that's it, that's the pitch. And so if you have any questions, just uh, you know, let us know. Email us anytime, and you can email us at info at excelwithwayne.com. And yeah, you know, thanks for watching, and really hope to see you in class.